So um, that's my first hundred that I've ever hit in my life. And um, yeah, my granddad was there to watch it. That was this season actually against Dumfries. After I got out, um, I um, walked over to him and he gave me a hug. Yeah, this is Pakistan cricket team. Yeah, this must be one of the touring squads. That's him there, that's Baba. I don't recognise anyone else, so... It was in 65 Yeah, he made his debut. He actually got us into cricket, and it was when he was managing the Pakistan team, when it was a Pakistan versus Sri Lanka series in Dubai. And that was in 2011. And I can't actually remember much of the cricket, but I just remember being there. And then after that, we both kind of had an interest in cricket. I got into a club like right near us in Scotland, Clydesdale Cricket Club, and Marion played because I played. And did you enjoy it initially? I don't know. No, I hated cricket at the start. <laughs> really? Yeah. I didn't like it for like the first five years. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why. It wasn't like, just like, didn't enjoy it. I wasn't really sporty when I was younger, so uh, like no sport really appealed to me. I think now we realise how impressive it actually was because obviously playing for Pakistan is a really, really big deal, especially because now we're playing as well and we can see how hard it is to, or how hard you have to work to play professional cricket. I think everything we do, we'd feel like we're doing it to continue his legacy, I guess. And well, that's quite motivating for me, I'm sure, for Mariam as well. So just push us to work harder and do better, I think. Yeah, he had, like, he had a big impact on our cricket, just from a young age and even till now. And even after his death, like we, I think he still has such a big impact now that every time I do go out and play a game, I do always think about him and I think about the fact that like, I don't think I would be here without him. Like I wouldn't be at the position I am in my cricket without him. We came here. Uh, to uh, in Scotland, he came every year. He used to come in June, July, and play. He used to play with them and um, teach them and uh, give suggestion what to do, how to play, all these kinds of things. And uh, then when we were home, he was all, still we were talking on uh, phone. I have this like vivid memory when I was like eight years old, where I took four wickets and four balls, and I called him about it, and he was like really happy and stuff. And it's just, in general, he was always proud. I think Scotland was just something even more to be proud of for him, so. He would always be like the first person I'd call for anything. And even if it was like a failure or even like a success, I'd always tell him like, um, I got really lucky to be able to tell him that I got my call up for Scotland uh, this year um, before he passed away. And he was really, really proud, and really, really happy about it. And I was like, when I made my debut, like, he was mentioned during the speech when I got my cap. And yeah, I wish he was there to see it, but it was just really nice just to know that he knew about it. It's a general thing that a lot of people would take more um, interest in Ibrahim's cricket, obviously because he's the boy. But um, Baba would never do that. He would just take so much pride in my cricket and he was like my biggest, biggest supporter, like no matter what. He never saw a barrier between men and women ever, like even for when my mum was younger. Uh, like And like during that generation when sp sport for females wasn't that common, like my granddad would always promote her to be playing something and like my mum played tennis and my, she played loads and loads of sports and it was just all because of my granddad, like he never saw it as a barrier. He was, he was ahead of his time. Mm -hmm.